All right, you guys, as promised, we are going to go through some of these works in progress um, that I've been keeping in that closet in order to see what can stay, what's actually going to get sewn, and what I just have to get rid of. And I'm looking at some of them, and I know they're, they're like almost more sentimental than anything because there's memories attached to them, but they're probably going to have to go. Okay, so first things first, um, you would have had to have been with me for a long time to remember this. This is a fabric that I got in New York City. I was absolutely obsessed with the fact that you could get the blue on white and the white on blue in the same print. That was so unique to me. I had never seen that before in fabric that I could buy by the yard. And so I was like, oh my God, I have to make something. Um, and then started to make this little set. I cannot remember why we stopped. <laughs> this is so hard. Um, there's little pockets here. I can almost guarantee for sure that this is not going to fit anymore. But I don't know, would somebody buy it off of Etsy? It is like pretty much done. We have a little collared thing. I mean, the, is the craftsmanship any good? I mean, no better or worse than what you see on like H&M and all that. So there's that. And then the skirt is a mess. Um, yeah, I think the skirt wasn't fitting. So I took it in. I can see how I did that here. But I could just let that out again. But the waistband would be an issue. Oh, it's like so close to being done. Okay, I can't. I can't. Not yet. Not yet. I can't. We'll do better. We'll do better as we keep going. But this one, this one's too close and too cute. So she's a keep. Okay, this will be easy. This is a little baby polo that I got, not for me, um, because I was going to make Sunny, my dog who died three years ago, four years ago, <laughs> a dog clothes, dog clothes out of this. Um, obviously, we never got around to that. Um, I think I was going to film it and put it on the channel. I could still do it for the girls, but if it hasn't happened yet, you guys, it's not going to happen. So, and two, these little polos at Goodwill are a dime a dozen. I could just go get another one. If I'm like, if I get it all figured out, I get the pattern done and everything else. I get the tutorial ready to go. Then we'll go back and get another one of these. But for now, this little cutie is going to go back to Goodwill. Okay. This is... I don't even remember buying this. Um, this is a skirt with shirring. Oh, it's Maeve. That's actually kind of nice. It's a, it's a, this, it's a top, like, uh, it's a dress like this. I think the, the, um, tag is way down here. I think that just needs to be a skirt and it needs to just go in my closet. What the heck? I don't know why I hung it up and put it in there. What was I going to make something else out of it? Yeah, I think I was going to cut all this away and do something else. That's foolish. Let's just wear the skirt. Okay, in the closet. So this one is going to go in my actual closet. So we'll put that over there. <laughs> okay. Um, where are the hangers going? Let's put the hangers here. All right. This is... All right. So this is an example of... When a pattern and a fabric don't align. But Lord help me if this isn't almost done too. Now I get why all these were sitting in there. So, and it's also a color that just isn't right. We can all agree this is not my coloring. Right? So I think I'm just going to take this to Goodwill as is. It has raw hems, but I mean, there's plenty of clothes that do that. So to Goodwill, enjoy. Um, if that were a better color for me, I probably would have kept it. Okay, this is a swing dress, originally from Old Navy, um, that I wore a couple of times. The problem is, is that it's very bouncy, 
And so when I walk in it, like when I'm standing still, it's fine. When I start walking, it bounces and it's a little short. Um, so I just was kind of uncomfortable wearing it, but that's not to say it couldn't be a really great sleep shirt. Do I need more sleep shirts? I do love a sleep shirt. But then if I keep it as a sleep shirt, am I gonna be tempted to wear it as real clothes? Yes, it's only Old Navy, it's only a jersey. Do I wanna make it into a tee? Or do I wanna make it into like, just shorten it? That's probably what I was thinking I was gonna do. But I already have a sweater top that's, I don't need this, okay. See, I see, I'm, I'm making hard decisions for sure. I'm feeling better about myself. Okay, this guy, do you remember this? I think I even, yeah, I definitely filmed this and put it on the channel. What happened was, see what happened was, I didn't sew the zipper properly. So the zipper tape has come apart from the lining. So I just need to pick that apart and re-sew it in. Yeah, that's literally all that needs to happen. And then I'll have this cute little top again which was so cute with like white jeans and stuff. So, okay, this is gonna be in this pile. Okay, huh, moving right along. All right, so now we have, okay, so we have this. This is a cape coat. It is, this is how far I've gotten. This is the popover poncho. Can't tell you who the designer was. Pop over poncho, no idea. Um, ow, there's a pin. <laughs> wow, there is a pin. Okay, so this is the state of it. I did welt pockets. <sighs> Dang, that's really cute. Look at the print mix matching. What is? What are these pins for? Why is there a pin here and here? Oh, because that's the hem? Is that where I was gonna hem it to? What do I have left over here? I have a cowl neck. Is that what I was gonna do? Um, and then some scraps, I think. Is this, yeah, scraps, scraps, scraps. I do think I tried to make a little mini skirt out of that, but I was trying to make it elastic to make it super fast and elastic and this thick wool or whatever is just not a vibe. Um, so I never ended up wearing it. It ended up being kind of weird actually, if I'm being honest. Um, okay, so this is just missing the collar. Is that correct collar and a hem? I should finish this. It would be so cute with jeans. Right, I should finish this. Okay. It's just so close. It's just so close. I'm gonna keep this in this, right? And then all of these scraps are gonna go in the clothes that would make, I mean, scraps that would make, like I have enough to make dog clothes from. Okay, so that's gonna, let's just put that here. <laughs> Okay, this, oh, this is the classic example of fabrication and pattern, not a mix. Okay, so I got this really lovely, um, gosh, I don't even know what type of knit this is. Some kind of knit. I think I got this from Mood, also one of my trips to New York. It feels amazing. So I'm thinking some kind of like rayon French terry. Yeah. It's like a rayon French terry. It's so nice. And then I was like, oh, you know, it'd be so cute. Let's put a ruffle on it. Ruffles are cute on everything. Well, guess what happens when you wear it, the ruffle flops back and then that's what it looks like all the way around. Same thing on this whole front. So the solution is to take the ruffle off Problem is, I've got one sleeve on and then no sleeve. So if I take the ruffle off, I could make it a French terry tank top. Is that weird or cute? 
I could make it it's the problem is the fabric is so nice I don't want to say goodbye to this fabric so chop off the the ruffle chop off the sleeve unless it shows itself in the rest of this all I have is this um so chop off the sleeve could I even take like if I made it short sleeved and I definitely don't have this in my stash remnants nope oh this one's hard too the problem is this isn't just something I can just give to Goodwill in this state either. It is kind of long. I wonder if I could take the half of this sleeve off and then make a sleeve out of what's left down here and then make it like a cropped short sleeve v-neck it's getting weirder I this is oh the pro the other problem now I'm running into is all the ideas that I'm coming up with I don't like them and so I know if I don't like the idea I'm not going to do it I'm not going to make something that I don't like going in <laughs> so burn it in my fireplace take it to H&M and have them burn it um, yeah, this is, this is not, oh, bummer. All right, well, I guess I'll leave this to the side. If any of you guys can think of something cute to do with it, let me know. Otherwise, oof, otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to trash it. Cause you can't it can't be worn like that you know it just it's it can't be so if you have an idea for a one sleeved relatively long like i would say full hip length top with if i take the ruffle off we'll have somewhat of like a v in the front like a deep v short sleeve cardigan that's weird. Sleeveless cardigan. That's also weird. Okay, let me know what ideas you guys have. I'm going to put this to the side. If you, someone of you come up with a really good idea that inspires me, I'll do that. If not, then it's going to get trashed. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Okay, next we have... Oh, boy. Okay, I remember this one. Um... I think what happened is I got to this point and then it didn't fit. But so it's a it's a top that has this little T back. So it is cute, but no. But now I'm thinking it is very trendy to have like a little silkish like mini skirt underneath like a big sweater. So I have a gray sweater and this would peek out the bottom as a little mini skirt. That could be cute. See, now that gets, that gets me excited. That's like, oh yeah, that's going to be cute. So let me take all these pins out now. Why do I, this is why I ran out of pins and I have to keep buying them. Um, I'll put them here because it just, it, the neckline wasn't fitting correctly. Um, that little, the band, like this part, this T part was too long, so I was trying to make that shorter, but you couldn't try it on, I guess, until you got to this faced point. And so it almost felt like this is already so pretty and now I'm having to like nip and tuck and do all these things. So screw that. All right, so we're just gonna chop this off right at where the T strap starts in the back. And that's going to be a cute little skirt. And I'll just either do a elastic. I'll probably definitely do elastic. If I'm only ever going to wear this um, with sweaters over the waist anyways, elastic it is. Okay, great. Now this. Okay, so this is a 
really cute mock neck gray sweater. It doesn't have the sleeves or the hem hemmed. Why would this end up there? Was I not wearing it? Is that what was happening? I wasn't wearing it? Or maybe the sleeve length felt weird? I can see that happening. Huh. It's this really soft sweater knit. I think I got it from like Hancock or Joanne. Oh, it might even be French Cherry. Um, I think it's fine. Should I hem it though? I have red thread on my serger currently, so that won't work. Oh, it wouldn't be serger anyways, it'd be cover stitch and that's over there. Um, yeah, I could just quickly do a little quick hem. Yeah, we're going to we're going to fix this. This is going to be fine. Okay, so that's staying. Um okay, now Oh gosh. All right. So this is a faux suede wrap over mini skirt. Which I had the waistband on rip the waistband off and so now I have a waistband and the bottom half of this skirt zippers installed I need to just try this on again I did it looks like I also removed the darts the back darts so maybe I made it and it was too small but like hello that feels like all my goods are going to be out <laughs> that is all my goods how is that supposed to work? Were they're supposed to, how, yeah, how is this supposed to work? Oh, oh, that's a separate layer. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, I was like, what? Okay, so all of that is the front. I got it now. Yeah, this is definitely worth fixing. That's cute, 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 cute. Okay, so then this was something I had made Early on in my sewing career, I was so proud of the print mixing. Look at me being all bold. But the back was never finished. It's supposed to have like a little keyhole. And I never did that because I shortly realized after this that I didn't like keyholes. And so I wasn't finishing it. So it's not finished. It needs, at the very least, like a snap up here. Or not a snap, but like a hook and eye. I'm not going to wear this. That's the other thing. So if I send it to Goodwill and someone saw it like this on the hanger and realized that they couldn't snap it closed either, would they keep it moving? Would it end up in the trash? Should I sew the thing on? I should do that. It would actually even be easier probably for me to do a zipper. Okay, this is going to be a fix to donate. Fix to donate. Okay. Now we have jean shorts that are two sizes too big now. These need to just go to Goodwill. Okay. I think I um, I did my elastic trick. Um, there's a video on it on my channel from several years ago about where I take elastic and I insert it through the back waistband. So that's what I had done here and just need to remove that. Or at the very least, flatten it out. Wait, hold on, here it is. Did I sew it in already? Wow, I did. Look at me. Okay, so I'm gonna seam rip that and then rip this sucker out. Oh, no. <laughs> There we go, see, just elastic. So that'll be reused, that's that's good. And then these will go to Goodwill. Great, next. We, oh boy, okay. So I was trying to make a jean skirt. You know how you do the thing where you fold the thing over and then you have a skirt out of shorts or pants? These were originally code blue um, the code bleu, B-L-E-U, the French way. They are 
one size too big for me now, I should finish this. This is like cool again. And then I would have that little vent. Okay, I'm gonna finish. Wow, I thought I was gonna be getting rid of a lot more. This is ended up being like half and half. Like give one, keep one, give one, keep one. This is the, oh no, what is it? It's the pattern. I have a dress made from it. Um, I put in a little cami. Why is it hanging? Because I don't like it. Why is it in works? Oh, because it doesn't have a hem. At the very least, this needs to just be pajamas. So let's put it in the pajama category and see if I wear it. This is a fully realized, complete pair of culottes with a fully sewn top, except for arm side and him. And then I was going to have a set. Um, yeah, this one already has the bias done. Or the the arms I done. I don't know if it's bias or not. There's no more extra fabric. So is this hem done? Yes. Ugh. Okay, so this is going in the closet and this is gonna go here. Okay, this is embroidered cotton or embroidered chambray from Joanne. That's a giant scrap. This is Oh, okay, so this looks like it's a dress. That the back, oh, this is so cute. That the back is um trying to be like a backless or at least like a little, let me see if I can show you, like a little crossover back opening with like elastic here. Can y'all see this coming together? Hold on. See the bottom elastic? That's supposed to be at your waist. And then this is supposed to be droop, droop. Um, a little bit hard to see, but yeah, that's going to get finished. And then I also have, this must be for the arms eye. Why did I stop? Why did I stop? I'm guessing I was having trouble fitting the back because my back is actually pretty narrow compared to my like the circumference of my waist measurement is mostly in the front, not in the back. There, now you can see a lot better. Okay. Um, yeah, that should be attempted to be finished. At the very least, chop off the top and keep the skirt part, right? The skirt is so cute. Wow. Okay, so that's going to go here. I put those in the, the thingamajigs in the pocket, and then I have all this scrap. That can be made into something cute. Next, we're getting very close to the end. Um, what is this? This is in many, many pieces. <laughs> many, many pieces. What is this? What is this? I don't know where the top is. I don't know what's happening. Is it a cape? Is it? You guys, this is strange. <laughs> what it is there's these eyelets here and here and there's clearly like strings that we're going to go through the eyelets but like how does the shirt work very confusing very confusing what is it biscuit what is this if these things are supposed to come together here I don't know what this is. And this. Wait, is it shorts? 
No. Uh oh. Is it this? I don't know what this is, guys. I genuinely have no idea. But it was supposed to be a refashion of some kind. I can't figure out how it goes. I cannot figure out how it goes. Dang, that's going to eat me up. Maybe um, those are turned back. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. And I'm frustrated just looking at it. So this is going to be garbage. Because I can't even give it to Goodwill. If I can't figure it out, nobody else can. So that goes there. Okay. This was a cute little top, obviously. I still have fully completed except for the sleeves. And it has a cute little cross back. So, I think the sleeves weren't going to fit. Why didn't I finish this? No, the sleeves totally fit. What's the problem? What's the problem? That's a really cute sleeve. Neck band. Done. Other sleeve done. Scrap fabric can go here. I just need to sew on these sleeves. Is that what you're telling me? <sighs> okay. Okay. This is a, this is a past Lindsay thing. Okay. New Lindsay doesn't do this. Maybe, maybe, maybe what happened is the arm size is too low. Hold on. Yes, and so what was I gonna do to fix that? Okay, I bet there's a fitting issue, but listen, we're so close, like, just make it sleeveless. Worst case scenario, just make it sleeveless. Yeah, these sleeves were sewn on at one point. Um, yeah, for sure. Okay, so I think that it was like when I raised my arm, the whole side lifted, and so that wasn't that cute. So we're just going to make this sleeveless, and it'll be a deep arm side on the side, but sleeveless is fine. It's still super cute, right? Okay, so that goes in the trash. Yay! All right, finally, finally, I remember buying this at the thrift store. It's vintage Givenchy. See? Super cool, right? Um... And I think I was debating on whether or not I could sell this for the true vintage girlies who were like obsessed with, with, um, uh, like haute couture, uh, fast fashion type of stuff, or if I could make it work for me. That is the back. It is really beautiful. It says it's a 22W, which I don't know if that translates to what it was back in the day to now. Yeah, I think I just need to try it on. Because, I mean, that would be stunning with just like a black, simple bodysuit, long sleeve, and then like high black boots. Okay. Okay. So let me try this one. This one is going to go into like a try on and probably be fixed. I can't, I think it's too pretty for me to give it away to anybody else. Okay. So that is it folks. That is all the works in progress that I had hanging in the closet. Notice I did not say that's all the works in progress that I own. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true at all. Um, okay. I'm excited about this. Some of that stuff's really cute. I can't wear it right now, but some of it I can, and then I'll have new stuff for the spring and summer. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming along with me and just listening to me ramble on and my thought process about things I keep or not keep. And um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Biscuit. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Say bye to the people. Say bye. Say bye to the camera. <laughs> okay, bye you guys.